Tourette's syndrome is a neurological disorder that's characterized by involuntary movements or tics. It's not well understood, but efforts by Rutgers scientists could one day make a difference. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports. Come on, Dad. What are you doing? To see the confidence Dean Roncotti exudes when he plays chess, you might not suspect that this Bergen County high schooler has Tourette's syndrome. His dad says the symptoms began before Conrad started kindergarten. He was blinking a lot, and we just assumed it was something he had picked up, a little habit, and then it didn't leave. And Tourette's syndrome, or TS, is characterized by tics and sometimes by involuntary vocalization. If kids ask me, like, why are you making these noises, I say I have a neurological disorder, I can't help it. It's a lot more common than you might think. One in 200 children shows a partial expression of Tourette's syndrome, and that's 28,000 children in New Jersey alone. But now, science is providing new hope. The New Jersey Center for Tourette Syndrome has established the world's first TS sharing repository at Rutgers University. Patients and their families donate blood in order to give scientists the chance to study and compare their DNA. Dr. Jay Tishfield, a Rutgers geneticist, is the executive director. It's uh, one of a kind. It, this is the first publicly available Tourette's collection in the entire world. DNA samples are stored in liquid nitrogen and shared with researchers all over the world. The repository now has several hundred samples and hopes to build its collection to several thousand. We believe that if we can study something that's inherited and trace it through the generations, then we can find what it is, just like people have found genes for Huntington's disease and other disorders. That's why Dean and his family have contributed their DNA. I really hope that they understand, like, through the research, they understand what Tourette's is and how to deal with it more. It's incredibly important in terms of finding a solution and finding a cure for people afflicted with Tourette's syndrome. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Piscataway.